I have been playing in a completely different build, left mid, first time I've ever done it, and as you can see from some of the clips on the screen, it is cracked, guys. I'm a big, big fan. If you're new to this channel, you need to subscribe. We are the home of pro clubs, and we have got all of the best pro clubs tips and builds for you. So left mid for the very first time, and why am I doing it? It's got better physical stats. The shooting is basically the same, except you have 10 more shot power, which is probably my least favorite thing about that left wing build. And you get an extra dribbling play style. So let's get into it. Stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to give you guys some tips that are going to get you so much better on pro clubs. Like I said, we are 20 and 0, maybe 25 and 0 in this new club. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of clubs. I'm going to give you guys some big tips to improve. I'm playing in the left mid setup. You can go right mid. It doesn't matter at all. Obviously, I've been pushing to play striker in left wing and right wing this year. A lot of you watch videos of this gone, why are you not playing in the striker build? No pace. Shooting's amazing in both, so it doesn't make a difference. The dribbling's worse. Left wing was the one for me. So I've been trying left mid now, and this is the build I'm going to bring you. 5'9", 119 pounds. A little bit taller because I'm finding the pace when you get to maximum level to be redundant anyway. You get caught, so it doesn't really matter. A lot of the clips you're seeing on screen, you might notice compared to the other builds that I've brought you across all of my socials, that this one has a lot more shot power. I feel like shots are cracked in this setup. If I go into left wing, you can see here that I have 95 pace and in left mid, I have 93. No real difference. The shooting is one higher in this build, but that doesn't tell the whole story because you have much better shot power. And the shot power was terrible in this left wing setup. So you get a better shot power. Your passing's the same. Your dribbling loses two points, but you're still at 94. Your defending's better if you care about pressing and tackling with interceptions. And your physical stats, your strength are on 75 compared to 68. So this left mid build for me is a must try if you're playing up front or anywhere in that front three in EAFC 24. Coming into the play styles, a lot of these are personal. Now, I don't tend to use the shooting ones, Finesse or Travella, because I don't like to take shots from outside of the box. If you're a player who plays in a team where maybe you don't play as ticky tacker as we do, where the passing is coming into you with, you know, quick, intricate moves where you're trying to shoot from the inside of the box, maybe consider putting on the finesse shot. But for me, Tiki Taka Plus and Technical Plus. That extra ball control slot means that, of course, you can have an extra ball control. So we have basically four points in there now with Technical Plus being the gold one. Then we have Ping Pass, Rapid, First touch for obvious reasons. Relentless, you never run out of stamina. It's amazing on this game. Then you've got quick steps, so your dribbling is better. Faster off the line. And press proven, I really like. You keep close control of the ball whilst dribbling at jog speed and can shield. I find when you hold R1 with press proven as well. And dribble, it's absolutely insane. I just love it, guys. I feel like it really works so well. Coming into the attributes. Now, this is where you can play around with it. I, I really recommend having the maximum speed for obvious reasons. You are going to get caught even with this 94 speed. And I can come out of this. Make my pro a little bit smaller you know if I was to play at five for seven or five for six my pace would be 93 95 but you lose a bit of the physical and I just don't think it's worth it so I've been playing at five nine a little bit taller and finding that it's working really well so maximum speed in this setup I absolutely love this and I've noticed a lot of you guys have commented before on my shorts TikToks and sometimes these videos with questions about play styles and running styles in particular Run styles do not make you any quicker, regardless of what you've seen on TikTok, they just don't improve speed. So these running styles are completely subjective, they really don't make any difference. I mean, what is that? Why is he running like that? So don't be fooled, don't need to change any of them. You're only an 87 overall as well, and I know a lot of you guys will be saying, well, what's that about? Why are you not 80? So, you know, you could be 91 centre back. The maximum level doesn't matter at all. It's about the base stats of, for me, dribbling, speed, and probably your physical balance with your shooting that create the best pro on this game. I could probably get like a 90 rated striker if I put myself or my guy into ST, but I just don't see the point. And like I said to you before, you can see there you, move, you lose that extra play style. So just trust me guys on this. Just give it a go. Right mid or left mid, it doesn't matter. I find it so effective. And you'll be seeing that from some of the clips that you can see on screen. We play nice intricate passing. You guys know how we play. Passing the ball to each other, shooting from close range. The dribbling's absolutely cracked. The passing's good, the short passing. Shooting wise, we're not going to max out everything because like I said, we don't need to. We just don't need to. We've got 88 finishing, 
86 free kick accuracy, which is high in this build compared to in the left wing. The shot power, though, is the big one. 89 shot power. That is what is missing from the left wing build. If you play in ST, you obviously get shot power, but you don't in left wing at all. So this is a massive, massive boost. You want to make sure you get a five-star weak foot for obvious reasons. And yeah, okay, you might want to say, get higher long shots, get your long shots right up. But what would you sacrifice? I'll show you the rest of the build and I'd be interested to know. Passing takes a hit in this build. That's the only thing, but your base passing is good. 80 passing is not bad at all. Like your 80 short passing is going to be absolutely fine with 73. And we've got that play style in there to give you that extra boost if you need it. Dribbling maxed out, guys. If you're not a skiller, you can use, you know, extra points maybe into those long shots or short passing. But I love all the skill moves. I like flicking the stick and pretending I know what I'm doing. And the dribbling in this build is still absolutely insane. 94 agility, 94 balance. 91 attack positioning, 95 ball control, and 95 dribbling. That is ridiculous. Our dribbling tab, I'm pretty sure, was in the 90s, 93 average. Guys, this is absolutely fine. Don't worry about taking a hit in, in terms of comparing it to right wing to right mid because 93 overall dribbling is still cracked on this game and probably more important than your sprint speed. There's going to be nothing in the defending and your physical is going to be blank. So to summarise, your dribbling is going to be completely full, passing empty, shooting is going to look like this and your sprint speed maxed out. So you have got the cheetah archetype. You've got the sniper, you've got the finisher, and then of course you've got both dribbling, the Lynx and the Maestro. And this build is, for me, my favourite right now since the patches that have come out in Season 2 of Pro Clubs. Like I said guys, it doesn't matter if you play right mid, it doesn't matter if you play left mid, but give this a go. If you prefer left wing guys, it's still absolutely insane. You get a slightly higher overall rating, your pace is a little bit higher, but this is a must try for me. So guys, one of the big tips that has helped me so much is dribbling on EAFC 24 Pro Clubs. So you can obviously dribble with the R1 button, holding R1 doing contextual dribbling, as you're seeing on screen here, you can cut around defenders, especially if they're not AI. If you're playing against an any, this is such a good way to attack. You can also hold L1 and you get this like speed boost after if you dribble away from someone, almost like you slow down a little bit like Doku for City and then you just turn a pace when you're holding L1, when you let go and you just sprint straight past the defender. So yeah guys, don't forget to use that dribbling, especially in this build, right? Your dribbling is cracked. It's like 94 dribbling. So you might as well make use of it by just twisting and turning around defenders and making it so easy to get in on goal. I've played 243 games. I've got 472 goals, so nearly two goals a game. 196 assists as well. That is catching up nicely. I like that. We're nearly at one assist a game and an 8.7 average match rating. Considering we don't always take clubs seriously in our videos, we're messing around a lot of the time. That's pretty damn good. Of course, we're max level as well. I don't know why skill moves and weak foot both say three star there when they're five star. It's a visual glitch. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you got this far and you copy this build and let me know if this build works for you or what your favorite build is thanks for all the support on the channel guys and i'll see you in the next one